What's up, family? I hope that you guys are having a great Monday. I missed y'all. Um, I had to take a few days off just to clear my mind, really, and um, just seek the Lord and just talk to Him and just to take a breather. Um, since I put out my last video, um, I had made that video, my very last video, I made that video to stand up against those who were coming against Christina personally. And I know that there were many people <clears throat> who said that it was hypocrisy and, you know, using that as an example I just did not think that was the right way to handle it you know anytime you are indirectly or directly um, talking about somebody's weight you know I just I think that it's just not the right way to approach it because no matter how you say it that person is still taking it personally and when you bring up somebody's weight, especially anyone who is struggling with their weight, um, there are many people out there who, um, who have weight issues due to thyroid problems. Um, there are many people um, who, you know, go through a lot of things behind closed doors. And, you know, they might be struggling with somebody who is... Um, being abusive mentally uh, when it comes to their weight you know there's so many things that people go through it it's just not it's not tasteful it's not I just so that's why I that's why I just came out um, against anybody who was talking about Christina's weight um, because I had seen it um, you know done to Rhonda as well and I know at the end of the day that people are standing up for the faith and um, I completely agree with that, but we just need to make sure that we're doing it in a Christ-like way. Um, and so when I put that video out, um, there were many people who thought I was still kind, kind of um, muddying the water um, and thinking that I was basically coming against um, not only the people who brought up her weight, but also just the other people who were exposing uh, their teachings in general. And, you know, over the past couple days, talking to my brothers and sisters, um, praying about it, you know, I um, think that it is very, very important to stand up for the true gospel. And I know many people, um, I, you know, like I've told you guys that I have uh, in the past, you know, thought it was okay or thought it was right to, you know, say things like, make Jesus the Lord of your life or you know are you truly surrendering your whole life to him um, things in that nature and I never really truly understood what Lordship salvation was and I I totally get it and I understand it now and you know I just you know all along had good intentions when I would say things like that but I feel like you know even uh, up until very recently, I never truly understood the simplicity of the gospel, even though I have been saved since a kid. You know, I, I, there are other people out there who have come to Christ at a later time in their life. And so I understand how saying certain things can confuse people and bind them up, um, even when you're not meaning to. And so I truly do understand uh, that it is um, very, very important to stand up for the true gospel. And like I told you guys, I never truly understood the simplicity of it um, until recently because, you know, Satan wants to plant doubt in your mind and make you think that the gospel is not as simple as it is. And I was talking to Chrissy last night and I, I said to her, I said, Sister, I said, don't think that I'm... Um, because we had been talking back and forth for a while. I said, don't, don't think that I'm, you know, uh, questioning, you know, the gospel or anything. I just, I said, have you ever thought about 
you know, if the, if the gospel is so simple, you know, as it is, which it really is, all who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, for it is with the heart that man believes. It's genuine, genuinely believing in your heart with every fiber of your being. Um, with the gospel being so simple, why does the Bible say or why does Jesus say that, um, that the path to eternal life, the path to heaven is narrow and few find it, but the the road to destruction is broad and many are on it. You know, if, if the gospel is so simple, why does the Bible say that? Um, because I was just thinking about it. It was something that popped into my head and she said something that made so much sense. She says that, you know, people, there's a lot of people that hear the gospel and know the gospel, but it's hard for many to accept how simple it is. They always want to add works to it. There has to be more to it. Um, is it really that simple? I mean, Satan has been in my head multiple times and tried to plant that doubt in my mind that it can't be that simple. How can you just believe and you be saved? Um, but I have come to a full understanding and not that I was ever adding works. I think that um, some of the things I may have said, some people have thought that, you know, I was adding works. And, you know, I told you guys, I went back and deleted that video where I had titled my video, um, you know, holiness is not legalism. But, you know, it's, there is absolutely um, nothing that we can do to, um, to get our salvation, to get eternal life. Um, it is all what Christ did on the cross. And... Um, when he died on that cross, it was finished and he really was like the final sacrifice and the Bible, the, the gospel in the Bible is so, uh, very, very clear and so simple. Um, it is to believe in Christ, uh, genuinely in your heart. Cause you know, there are very, you know, there's a lot of people out there who, acknowledge Christ or um, say they believe in their head but they don't mean it in their heart um, you know when I when I look at the world or like yesterday I so it had popped up in my mind yesterday when I was driving I could still see the moon it was daylight I could still see the moon and just being able to look at that planet like to look at the moon just to look at the whole world and to see how he um, you know, made us, just how he made everything. I mean, everything is his. Everything belongs to him. Um, we only believe in him because he allowed us to have that faith. There are no, you know, and so I, when I look at everything and I, I look at, you know, all of his creation, I, I just know, you know, I believe with every, every inch in peace of my body I believe in him and that is what saved me as a kid just believing in him and the I know that there's a lot of confusion with the um, the obedience part of it and um, and even I was kind of confused there for a little while and and that's why I had to take a few days off and just really search my heart and and have clear understanding and, and confirmation from the Lord because you know we all just need to kind of take a step back and but uh, I you know, the whole obedience thing, um, our obedience comes from our faith. You know, all the good works that we have, like I know people will say, well, um, you still have to, you have to obey him or you have to do things. You have to do something. You know, all of the good works that come from us were preordained. Um, they were already preplanned for our life. So everything that we do, um, is because he had already planned it. So, um, I was, you know, I, had, I watched Chrissy's video last night. I shared it with you guys because I thought she just said everything that I think needed to be said. I mean, the Holy Spirit completely flowed through her and I, I shared her video and <clears throat> I, my, my mom had actually sent me a video couple weeks ago and I never had clicked on it and watched it. Um, it was actually from my old pastor, uh, Jensen Franklin. And 
she had said, uh, she said, scroll all the way to um, the 24 minute mark. And she said, this is the, this is grace. This is the gospel explained. Like this is, she was telling me to listen to it. And I didn't even listen. Like this is how bad my pro procrastination can be sometimes. God uses all things for the good. Um, and so I had watched Chrissy's video and I was uh, cleaning up last night around the house and God had put it into my spirit to go and watch that video that my mom had sent me like weeks ago that I should have already listened to. And I scroll all the way to the 24 minute mark where she, where she told me to scroll and it was all the way to the very end and God was just confirming things with me and he said, um, he said the will, what do you say, the, the will of the Father, um, he was basically just explaining how it is to believe. Like it is to believe. Everything comes after believing because when you truly uh, believe in your heart that Jesus is who he says that he is, that he left his glory, he was born of a virgin, uh, born in flesh, and he lived a sinless, perfect life, and he died on this on the cross for our sins, the the sins that we we deserve that punishment, we deserve that, but he laid down his life for us so that we could have eternal life. He died on that cross, and it was finished after that. And he rose from the dead and he lives today. And those who truly believe in their heart are saved and all of the good works that we say, well, you have to obey and you have to do this. You know, if it's, it's, it's adding works because like Chrissy said in her video, and I, I know I keep bringing it up, but it was so good. Chrissy, your video was so amazing. Um, what you said about if you if you say well I obeyed God like I I did this it gives you room to boast because you're gonna get up to heaven and you're gonna say well I obeyed you I I did this I did that I got up and I did this it gives you room to boast and um, Jesus says that it's a it's a free gift eternal life our salvation is a free gift so that so that nobody can boast so all of the obedience comes from our faith in Christ. Everything is his. Everything comes from him. And also like Chrissy said, like like with my husband, well, let's just say my husband, and I know there's many, many other people out there, but you can look at somebody and say that they're not obeying because of things that are in, still in their life or sin that they're dealing with or um, just the way that they're acting or they're living, whatever it is, you know, God works all things out for the good. And we don't know what God is doing behind the scenes. And we don't, we just don't know the big picture. And um, we, we just, we don't know his plan and we don't always know what he's doing because he's God and we are not. So, um, but I can tell you this, the person who truly believes in their heart is saved. And when they are saved, when they truly believe in their heart, the Holy, truly believing in their heart, the Holy Spirit will come in and dwell with them and within them and make them a new creature. And God will do all the works in their life. Everything is God's. And so um, when people say that it is easy believe, believism or whatever they say, um, I guess it is easy believism <laughs> because when you truly believe in your heart, you know, we have to go by what Jesus says. What are his words? What does he say? Not what we think or what we think that other people should do or you need to make the Lord, you need to make Lord, uh, Lord of your life, all of your, not all of your life, not just a little bit of it. You know, are, are you really truly a Christian? I mean, did you give him all of you? When you said that prayer, I mean, do you actually really, really believe like you said? You know, did you fully surrender your whole life to him or just a little bit? And I, I can, after seeing, you know, what Lordship Salvation is, um, it's not what God says. Because he says when you actually truly believe in your heart, 
you are saved. Um, and so, you know, I just have so much, you know, confirmation from the Lord over these past few days and clarification and, and peace and comfort and knowing that there is freedom in Christ and that you don't have to live in condemnation and you don't have to live in fear. Um, now, I know that there are people out there who, um, you know, who say the prayer um, or profess that they are Christians um, but never truly believed it in their heart. And, you know, I'm not telling people just to... Um, you know, just, I don't know. I just, I know there's going to be people that will come against this message and that's fine because Jesus said that it would happen, uh, anyways, and that we should rejoice because <laughs> we are hated for his name and, you know, our, our, our riches, our, our treasures and everything are not here. They are in heaven with him. And, you know, I don't, you know, we, we shouldn't be doing, uh, we shouldn't be trying to do any works of our own for any type of blessings or, um, or rewards. Um, I just know that like, I, I just want to just be close to him and seek him and just be close just because of who he is. Like I love him for who he, who he is, not for what he can do for me in my life or what he can provide. I just love him because he saved me. He gave me the faith to believe in him. And this is the true gospel, guys. I just ask that if you have not believed in Christ um, today, if you have not truly believed in your heart that Jesus is who he says he is, that you call upon his name to be saved because this is the dispensation of grace. This is the time where it has been finished and he is offering this gift of eternal life to you if you truly believe in his in your heart that he is who he says that he is because when you do you will receive the holy spirit and he will make all things new in your life and so i just um just ask you guys if you have not believed on jesus today that you do it because like chrissy and i had talked about um there are so many people that will be on that broad road because they can't accept that the gospel is so simple. They can't accept the simplicity of the gospel. And there are going to be many, many people who stand before Christ and he will say, they will say, well, Lord, I did all these things in your name. I, I, I drove out demons. I did this. I did that. And he will say, depart from me. I never knew you. So... Um, get on that um, on that narrow path to Christ and um, believe on him today it is he is the only way Jesus is the only way to the Father he is the only way to eternal life and it can be yours today if you just believe and God will work everything else out you can have freedom in his name so I absolutely love you guys. I hope that that cleared everything up. I understand that we have to contend for the faith. Um, I uh, am not against anyone who has uh, come out against anyone who has been preaching other gospels. Um, I, like I said, I completely understand the the severity of it. That people's um, people's souls are on the line. This is not. I mean, this is life or death. So, um, you know, I, um, love every single one of you guys, um, and keep standing for the true gospel. This is the true gospel. <laughs> and, um, you know, there's nothing that can snatch you out of the father's hands after that. God is in control, um, of everything. So, um, I hope that this cleared the waters and um let's just keep standing strong uh and that's all i have for you guys today i'm glad to be back on here um i hope that you guys have a great rest of the week i will be back um on our normal schedule uh probably uh back to posting uh every day but this was truly on my heart i'm sorry uh, to anyone who um has ever uh, got a, a mixed um, a mixed message from me or if I've ever caused confusion to you guys I'm, I'm truly sorry for that um, but you know 
it is so important to to stand up for the gospel and call it out when somebody is in the wrong and when they are in error because it causes confusion for other people um, so I understand that so I love you guys I'm gonna hop off of here I'm gonna grab some lunch I will talk to you guys later love you all